Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. We are playing Sea of Thieves Rush. It's basically boots in the sand. Find something to hand in and hand it in for gold and or reputation. It's that easy. Or so it sounds. It's basically um, a PvE minigame and we have a little timer down in the bottom there. You can see it counting down. That's uh, how long we've got today to get Sea of Thieves Rush done. So uh, quite a bit of time on the clock today. We're just going to jump on the sloop and get on out. That's pretty much how it works. We don't uh, hang around, we don't dawdle, we don't fill our pockets too much. Um, we haven't even voted on the flag, but we're just going to get on out there and go. So what I'm going to do is, uh, actually I'm going to go vote on the flag. But let's just get the ship going. And then I'll go vote on the, uh, oh actually I can't do that, can I? Damn it, maybe I can, let's see. Ah, yes. We got a merchant flag up. There goes the ship. So I'll go this way and I should get a mermaid. Should get a mermaid come up any second. Mermaid. Mermaid. Hello, mermaid. Jeez, I didn't think she was going to come. Okay, so I want to say thanks to uh, Restrider for the follow. 11 minutes ago, we had uh, Foxy Fox. Uh, K Foxy Fox followed um, yesterday and Blood Men Char followed uh, two days ago. So, last 24 hours we have those follows. So, thank you guys. Just gonna switch so I can see the chat to see what you guys do. Oh, we had a, an ad drop on stream, I think. I missed it. Ever tried? I've never heard of Ever Tried. A turn based rogue light by baiting enemies triggering oh that sounds really good in the afterlife visit our kickstarter to play the demo you guys did not put a link to your kickstarter how can we find you i guess google will have to suffice i can't believe they didn't put a link to the kickstarter in their little message in uh, in the chat maybe they wanted um wanted chats to actually get the uh the text and not get banned by the bot for posting a link. If some people didn't set up their chat properly, then that can happen, right? So let's turn that on. There you can see me a little better. I might have to do a BRB in just a sec. We had a, a new toaster this morning, so we had toast. And uh, yeah, it's trying to make a reappearance. <laughs> So uh, let's see what's here. Let's oh hello, boom barrel. Get rid of you. Get rid of your friend. Have a look at the rowboat. Anything good? Any fish? No. Nothing to hand in for gold or reputation there. The robot's pretty damn useless to us. And now we're in the storm, which is great. So we're going to just try and boot it on out of here and avoid the storm as much as possible. Okay, pocket's full. Alright, let's go. Come on, get on the ship. What is going on with my ladder? There we go. Okay, the ship's in a rotation now because of the storm. We're going to... I think I'm going to skip, uh, skip the big island. We're going to go to this little one over here. Although the storm's... Kind of going that way, isn't it? Maybe I should go to Mermaid's Hideaway and wait for the storm to alleviate. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's Wednesday. It's midweek. Hump day, as some of us like to call it. I don't tend to like calling it a hump day that much. Although, for some people, it, it can be an actual hump day. You know, like uh, Tackle Tuesday and Fish Friday and... You know, was it Fish Thursday? I don't know when the fish day is. But we did Tackle Tuesday last night, so that was fun. Costco Taco Kits are just so good. I say Taco, and then I say Taco. So, I'm not sure which one it is anymore. Which one do you say, chat? Do you say A or A? <laughs> A-H or A? 
being British, we kind of say taco. But being in Canada, we say taco. So there is a cannon on this island, and there it is. Hello, skellies. I'm just going to drift to the beach up here by this rock. Get out of range of that cannon. Let's turn the ship in slightly. Something on the beach there? I see something. Made it. Nothing in the water. Spinning around frantically. So we kind of beach comb in the Sea of Thieves Rush. It's just a case of finding what you can to hand in for gold and or reputation. There's a bell here. Is this going to be any good to me? What do we got? Being a merchant pudding, we actually have some merchanty stuff. That's really handy. That's going to give us merchant rep as soon as I drop it on the ship. Merchant pudding. Where is he? There, hey, it's a captain. Hello, captain. You want me to crack your clavicles? Because I can do that. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. There's a thing with skellies now that they just seem to get through your sword blocks. Sometimes they just, you can do all kinds of things and you still get hit by them. Uh, even if you're doing the right things to stop them. So I'm hoping they fix that. It, it was worse last update so it's gotten better. Just going to keep sword lunging him. There we go. It's going to be on this island, isn't it? I want the orders, not the head. Well, I'll take the head too. I think my ship doesn't have any holes, but I'll give it a quick check just to be sure. I'm going to put you up front. Right there. Oh, almost in the drink. I think it's just rain water. Yeah. A lot of rain water though. We'll go get the uh, ammo creek, because that's merchanty stuff too. Come on, weather. Move out of the way. Maybe I'm going to go to Sandy Swallows. I know it's Sandy Shallows. I know it's not Sandy Swallows. It's kind of a name that we adopted for it. So the rain is here now. Who came up after me? Just a regular skelly? What are you... Oh, you're way behind. What if I sail around the island, around the back? That might be an idea. The frogs came out. I can hear all the froggies. Let's just go. Dang! Grinding off those barnacles. <coughs> just a tiny little hole. <coughs> Excuse me. Froggy in my throaty. Not in the game. See anything on the beach? I'll go deal with the glug. It's just a little glug. Just a tiny glug. I don't want to miss the island altogether. Come on, we've got to turn here. Ah! Dag nabbit! Harpoon turns are handy, but when you screw them up, I just fix that hole. The rain's still following. Okay, I'm going to fix that while we scrape our butt on the sand. Getting sand in your crevices is no fun. It's no fun. It chafes. It's good for exfoliation. 
We'll get that horrible skin off. That's why I like bare feet in the sand. When I go to the beach, helps uh, clean off my corns. I don't have corns. My mum has corns. She has the worst. Oh look, we got boots in the sand, so we might as well have a look at uh, uh, this little wreck over here. Hey, the storm's going away, but we have plenty of time to check out the wreck. In the back of this island, we should be pretty safe. You're never safe safe in this game. But things should be pretty okay. Look at the constellations. Very beautiful. There's a tall tale where all the stars come into play. If you haven't done any tall tales, if you're new to Sea of Thieves, then uh, it's nice to know that there are two years in, there are new players coming to Sea of Thieves all the time. It's, uh, it's one of those games that really has so far stood the test of time. Which two years isn't a long time in games, but some games they just come out and you play them and then you're done and then you're like, oh, okay. But with Sea of Thieves you can keep coming back and the story is different. Like, we've been playing it since almost day one. About a month after release, the wife saw the cover. And she's like, I like that cover because it's got a skull on it. There was no no concept of what the game was. She's just like, I like the cover, so I'm getting the game. Oh, I missed my sword lunge. If you hit your sword lunge on the deck and jump when you hear the ting, the ting's a good indicator if you're wanting to kind of nail it every time. Captain's quarters is a good place to look with shipwrecks. Uh, don't forget to look on the deck or in the crow's nest as well because even on the top deck now if you're looking for reaper's chests they can actually spawn on the the top of the ship or even the underside if it's flipped upside down and on the deck just kind of almost magnetized to the deck I've seen ships at shipwrecks that have um, a, a marauder's chest on them like the beam of light coming up and then I've seen them leave because they can't find it and then I've gone in and it's like it's on the back deck behind the captain's quarters and I'll show you where that is that's that's here if you're on a, a floating galley and you can actually land on the top deck from or land on this little deck from the side and you'll see a lot of PVPers jumping off the side at the top and landing on the little side deck and then jumping and grabbing the ladder and uh, just basically avoiding pursuit by uh, by learning these little techniques, so it's good to watch streamers who play a lot, um, like Burger Warrior. Who mm. Burger's kind of he's getting a little antsy when it comes to Sea of Thieves, so he doesn't play as much. But he's a good streamer. Um, if you're wanting a, a full-time Sea of Thieves streamer, then you could check out Beardageddon. He still plays it every day, full-time. Um, doesn't play any other games generally. Uh, if you want another streamer that kind of is a bit of a variety but is also a really good Sea of Thieves streamer, then. Um, oops, missed my sword lunge. Then you can check out Crotuck. Crotuck's a really good streamer. Uh, he's a fun streamer. He's got this belly laugh and he does he does the pirate voice really well. He's actually American. Oh, actually, speaking of Crotuck, um, Copper Keg this weekend. Copper Keg's doing the takeover. Uh, what that means is they basically start really early, try and get all the ships on the server, which they generally do. They, you know, they pay off um, players on that server to give up their ships in exchange for loot. And then by getting all the ships on the server, um, they can then do a server takeover. Now, there are private servers available now for events, and uh, Crotuck has access to those, I believe, but I still think they're in beta, and I don't think he's going to be doing the server takeover with uh, private servers. And the fun thing about him not using the private servers as well is sometimes you get, uh, you get a, a rando just spawn in and get on the server. <laughs> Uh, and, and what you have to do is you have to kind of all coordinate and go chase them down. And I remember this time. It was absolutely fantastic. There was like five of us. Um, and we were all converging on this ship. We were chasing it basically around the map. To either get them to leave the server because they were just a random. 
or to be part of the copper keg takeover and be our friends um, but they just kept attacking us I don't think they understood English and there was no translate in the game at that time so uh, so they were just we just griefed them again and again and again and eventually they just left um, which is a shame it would have been nice to get them to be ooh, ting, be part of the copper keg takeover there's a lot of merchant stuff on this shipwreck I keep seeing stuff as I grab one thing I see another. I uh, I grabbed one and then I went down here and I saw another. So I'm just going to take a swim through. Whoa! Look at this, another one. What? Haunting of the. Oh, are you kidding me? It's <laughs> Flameheart has just spawned on the freaking island we're at. Oh, it might be time to book it. Where's the ship? This could be bad, guys. This could be bad. Yep, we have ships coming in. I was not expecting Flameheart to be doing his old diatribe through all this. Um, are they gonna? They're gonna be starting shooting at me in a moment. Let's just get moving. Flameheart, you dick. <laughs> Seriously? I didn't want to be fighting you. I didn't ask to be cursed. Oh, good loot though when you uh when you're in a flameheart event. Ooh, that was close. Ah, I missed the barrels. I couldn't see them. You tend to get good barrel loot. Flameheart, you imbecile. A lot of people call him Flame Fart, and I just... I hear it so much on streams, and I don't like to call him Flame Fart, just because it's, it's a dumb name. <laughs> I think it's a dumb name. 41 minutes left on the clock. Actually, do I actually have 41 minutes? I think I've screwed up my timer. No, I don't. I have 11, so let's clear that. And uh, 11 minutes on the clock. I'm terrible with my timer. So it's 8.19, 8.20, and another 10. Yeah, okay. I have 11 minutes on the clock, so... We'll go Sailor's Bounty. We'll take a quick look. And then we'll boot it... Uh, we'll boot it to an outpost and hand in. So I've never tried, ever tried, but it looks interesting. Make every move count in a turn-based rogue light by baiting enemies, triggering traps, ascending through every floor of a mysterious tower in search of the afterlife. Visit our Kickstarter and play the demo. I am going to do that, guys. Oh, shut up, Flamer Heart. I nearly call him Flame Fart. So I'm just going to do a sail by um, Recce on the beach. A Recce is a, a reconnoiter, like a look around. Let's see if there's anything there. I thought I had way more time than I did. So I'm doing a reconnoiter. The beach here is quite shallow, so you need to be quite a ways away else you're going to clip it. Uh, snake baskets, two of them. What the hell? <laughs> Never seen two snake baskets just spawning that close like that. That's weird. I don't think there's any snakes on this island either. It's like, that's handy. Might get a skelly, Captain. Might see one right up here. Oh, there's something there. No, that's a pig. I like the old sail buys. They're kind of fun. Another pig. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, jeez. There goes me boat. It's okay. It'll survive. So I'm going to head southwest. I think there's an outpost that way. Let's have a look. Uh, nope. Which way? I want to go east southeast. Alright. I know I've got a hole. Don't panic, guys. Don't panic. P 
People panic far too quickly in this game. East, southeast. It's kind of beyond the fort, I think. Still no need to panic. Still fine, still good. See? It's just a dribble in the in the bottom of the boat. I can scoop that up in one bucket. Which is crazy, because there's no way all of this water should fit in one bucket. But there you go. Physics. Game physics. Oh, we got something coming up here. We might be able to snag something else for being merchant. Uh, where is it? I think we'd passed it by the time I saw it. Dang it! Dang it! Dagnabbit. It's kind of become a theme, Dagnabbit. Teaches me not to curse. If I just use the old Dagnabbit. Okay, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's in the storm. The outpost is in the storm. So, looks like we're back where we started. Whoa! With storm. Got one. Lucky it wasn't explodey because I locked the harpoon and it's no good to me. If you lock the harpoon hard right, hard left, or hard down, um, and you harpoon a keg, it will clip the side of the ship and blow the ship and kill you on the harpoon. So just be warned about that, you know? Be aware. It is not a fun thing to do. Especially when you've got like tons of loot, maybe you've just done a skull fort and you've just got all the loot on board and you're like, oh, let's take a keg too and then boom and then everyone dies because they're all on the ship ready to leave and then you spawn back and then your ship sunk and you have to load everything in the robot. I speak from experience. It's usually me that does it too. I did it once. Uh, I had a... A fire grenade, and we had kegs in the crow's nest, which is dumb, and I don't like doing that. But I, I tried throwing a fire grenade over the ship to a dock that we were by, which had a skelly on it. It was on Cannon Cove. And uh, I hit the uh, main mast with the... And I realized what I'd done, and it was actually a mega keg in the, uh, in the main. So I realized what I'd done, and then, like, seconds after I re that realization hit me, if not quicker... Uh, kaboom. Where's the boom? Where's the kaboom? Uh, it was right there. It happened really fast. Kaboomed and I was done. Which side do I want to come in on? I'm not sure. Let's see. Zoom in. You can zoom in a lot further than you used to be able to. It's the opposite side. I basically have to go around the island in a storm. Pick the best way. I could come on this side and just uh, just run it around, I suppose. But most of the stuff I've got is merchant, so I might as well go around the tip here. I might miss the storm. Get to the dock. Hopefully the storm is moving away. I think it is. I might be okay. There's a little bit of a, a bank here for coming around the island. So you need to go a little bit wide. Just so you don't hit that little sandbank there. Coming into some rain. I'm just going to come in full hog on the, uh, on the dock here. Yeah, we're just going to park her there. There is a bug right now where your ship will just bounce back out into the ocean. Hoping that doesn't happen. Come on, drop off. Yes, I've got a hole. I don't mind.
Okay. Yeah, not much water. Let's just float down the flag. I'm going to hand one thing in. And then I'm just going to leave the rest. Which is customary now for what we do. In Sea of Thieves Rush. So we just let people know that there are some good pirates out there. I'm going to leave them exotic silks. Bottom of stairs. We're going to leave them an ammo crate. We're going to leave them a crate of fine sugar. I'll leave them a marauder's chest. And we'll line up three skulls, like three wise monkeys. And some new spawn is going to be pleasantly surprised when they get a nice little present at the end of the dock. So that's us done here, everybody. Thank you very much for coming by. There's Ever Wild, uh, Ever Tried dropping on the on the stream. There, we should check that out. That actually looks pretty fantastic. Um, a turn-based turn-based game. So we'd like to end out with a little cha la la booms yay, cha la la booms yay, cha la la booms yay, cha la la booms yay. Okay, now we're going to get over for a raid. Let's go see who we can raid. Who is playing? Who is streaming? Who is awesome and deserves a raid? Um, before I actually do the raid, I just want to let you know uh, Carities. She is Sea of Thieves streamer. Her and her daughter, unfortunately, were hit by a drunk driver recently. Um, I think they're okay. There may be some medical uh, things that need doing. Uh, what I would ask is um, go online, go to Twitter check out there's a GoFundMe page um, s if you can give any kind of help to Carities right now she had minimal insurance on her car um, I know that they they have minimal medical insurance as well and as a streamer you know she's making enough to do okay but it's gonna be tight for her with all of this that she's got to deal with now so um, yeah if we can help support her that would be great I am gonna go raid Zernax, because Zernax is a good guy. He plays some interesting games. He does play Sea of Thieves. He is part of the Bread Garden. All of these streamers here that you see in the list are part of the Bread Garden, and that is Beardageddon's um, stream team. Now, to be part of the Bread Garden, you just need to be part of the um, stream community for, I think, three months, um, or be a sub uh, to Beardageddon. Um, and uh, you can be part of the stream team. You just ask Beardageddon, you give him a whisper, hit him up in his discord and he will uh, add you to the stream team so are you ready everybody want to raid here we go we're going to raid in uh, in a few seconds here anyone else anyone Bueller? no we're going to go all right thanks very much everybody for coming by it's been a blast like i said go check out the uh the fundraiser for Carities. um she's an excellent cfe streamer a big part of the community and uh would definitely benefit from any support you could give her at this tough time that she's going through. Alright, I'm out of here. You take care. Off to work. <laughs>